Chuck, time for another explainer. All right. Now, I love explainers. You've been loving the explainers. I, You know, they stick with me, man. They're very cool. Okay, so I got one here. You ready? Go ahead. Uh, how long is a year? All right. <laughs> I, I didn't realize uh, you thought I was that stupid that you had to <laughs> explain that to me. I, I said I loved explainers. I didn't realize that we were getting down to the remedial levels. <laughs> the remedial. You know? Yeah. Hello, Chuck. Hi. So, yeah. What, what let's let's tell you what a year is. Yeah. You tell me I so said what do you yeah. what is a year? Here's Go on. a year. Take this crayon and I want you to draw. <laughs> I want you to draw me a timeline, Chuck. <laughs> a year a year is a trip around the sun. Okay. So how long does that take? Uh we say that it takes 365 days, but I got a feeling that you're going to tell me somehow that is not the case. <laughs> That is so, totally not the case. That is not the case. It, oh, it wow. Is, it is not the case. So as a matter of social civil convenience, okay, uh, the year is mapped out to 365 days. All right. All right. With 12 months, each having, you know, as low as 28, as few as 28 days and up to 31 days. Add all that up, you get 365 days. And then every four years, we stick another day in there on that 28. Well, 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 that's what I'm getting at. So that's 365 days, and we celebrate New Year's Day. Right. Earth has not yet completed its orbit around the sun. Wait a minute. So you're saying to me that. When we go January 1st, yay, all right. Kiss. When you go January 1st to January 1st, right. each time we do it, right. Earth is six hours behind the completion of one trip around the sun. Oh, crap. I did not know that. Well, That's first, what I'm telling you. you think first about of all, that. that is significant in terms of amount of time. Yes, it is. Okay. So, so rather than celebrate the new year in these six hour increments through, no, we just cleanly divide the year into whole days because we don't want to mess with a day. You wake up in the morning, you go to sleep, the sun rises, it sets, it's day, it's night. We want to keep that intact. So we ignore the six hours. Okay. All right. So now, how long are you going to ignore the six hours? Well, I'm going to say not very long. <laughs> okay. So if you, <laughs> if, if you ignore it for four years, then how many hours have you ignored? 24. Six times four. Bada bing. So you then throw a day back into the calendar. That makes sense. Every six hours, six hours, four years, that's a day. Throw the day back in. And you're back in line. And we give that day to the, the very needy February. Um, of course, Black History Month. Was yes, the shortest exactly. Month. Of right. course, they would do that. You know that. <laughs> Just like, yeah. not only are we missing the day, <laughs> it's the shortest month of the year. And, uh, oh, by the way, Black people, here you go. <laughs> by the way, it's the shortest month, even when you give it an extra day. Even when you give it an extra day, we still don't come, we still come up short. <laughs> that's amazing all right so so, so now and now everything's sort of even steven okay right all right so what we've talked i think we've talked about before the fact that that overcorrects did i did i ever mention that to you okay now i i believe we did but we were talking about it in a different it we might have been in a different context calendar Here calendars there was like a julian calendar exactly we talked okay. about this two years ago i'm trying to think of uh, it let me my... bring some of it back because it's in it it's relates to the year yeah so okay. i told you six hours but it's not six hours okay of course i mean that's <laughs> right because that only makes sense uh, okay, it's, it's a trip around the sun, 365 days, except it's not. Um, and it's six <laughs> hours, except it's not. Okay, it's a little less than six hours. Okay. Uh, all right. So, since it's a little less than six hours, if you add up four of those, you don't quite have a full day, do you? Uh, no, yeah, exactly. You're, you don't. You're a little short. Yet we put in a full day. Right. So it turns out over a century... You've accumulated an extra day that shouldn't be there. Okay. So every century, when it would have been a leap day, you take it out. So Okay, gotcha. Because we're right. We've accumulated that day 
We don't need to have the leap year that time. So we just let it go. The Correct. day self-corrects because the accounting, the ledger is now balanced. It, except Ex- oh, it's God. not quite. <laughs> oh, God. God. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So it turns out that overcorrects it by just a little bit. Of course it would. Okay. I, right. Yeah. Overcorrects it. So... Over 400 years, there's a day that should be in there that isn't. Okay. Okay. So every 400 years, which counts as a 100-year increment, okay, where you would have taken out the leap day. Right. Every 400 years, you put the leap day back in. You put it back in. Because you wouldn't have taken it out because it's the correction for the times that ov- that already was accumulated. Correct. You, you wouldn't have. You would have just let things be. But now, over 400 years, because it wasn't quite what it is, what, what, all right. just a little bit, it took 400 years. Now it's just like, hey, now you know what we're going to do? Because we actually did accumulate over all this time. So now we're going to shove a day back in here. And finally... Every 400... And you know something? The year 2000 was just such a year. So most people... Who said, well, year 2000 is divisible by four, it's a leap year, had no clue how rare a leap year that is. Right. That was the leap year that wasn't. Yeah, correct. There was no leap day in the year 1900 or in the year 1700 or in the year 1600. So all those century years had to accumulate a 400-year interval. We're up to the year 2000. It's got a leap day. And people thought that was a normal leap day, but it wasn't. But it wasn't. Wow. Yep. That's actually a, a wow. Look at that. that this, okay. This, it's all because we're not correcting by the precise amount. Right. We're correcting by whole days. Now, now here's, and there's nothing in the un, Earth's orbit around the sun doesn't care about how long it takes Earth to rotate on its axis. Oh, I but see. But we do. So we, we are shoehorning in our days with respect to how long it takes Earth to go around the sun. But wait, (laughs) we, okay, so that year is the time it takes the sun's and earth's relationship to repeat in such a way that the seasons stay attached to the months of the year we've given them to. Uh Okay. So our year is based on the seasonal calendar because we're historically agrarian. Agrarian, yeah. yeah. It, it, planting, sowing, reaping, it, all that crap. It makes sense, okay? It turns out that the seasonal calendar is slightly different from the time it takes Earth to return to the same spot in its orbit. Uh-huh. We simply don't use that calendar. And that's called a sidereal year, where we match up with the stars that surround the sun. But our seasons don't match up with the stars. And the stars migrate through the year. Spring will always be in March, but the sky you see in the springtime in March will shift against the calendar. Because that's not the year that we're based on. Right, exactly. Okay, so whatever year you're based on that repeats every year. Other accountings will then shift relative to it. And so when we return to our spot in space relative to all the stars, that's a different length of time than the time for us to repeat the seasons. Right. And so so, so we have a seasonal year. That's the year we know and love. Then it's called the sidereal year. Sidereal means, just simply means star. Right. Okay. That's the year where you look up and you have to find a point and we've got to return to that point. To that point. And if right. we did that, then the seasons would drift. We, the stars would stay where they are. Right, right. But, okay. Right, but we'd be getting a little, you know, out, you know, but we don't have to worry about that anymore because we have climate change. <laughs> so we have solved that problem. <laughs> solved the calendar problem. We solved the calendar problem. <laughs> ain't no winter. There's, there's, there's no, no nothing, baby. <laughs> okay, but wait. One la- there's another kind of year. Okay. Okay. Earth is an ellipse in its orbit. Right. Okay. So 
that means sometimes it's closer to the sun and sometimes it's farthest, right? We're closest to the sun in July, farthest in, in January, early January. Right. So that ellipse precesses around the sun. So in other words, if you, look, if you step back and look at the ellipse orbit around the sun and watch it like for thousands of years, that entire ellipse will turn around the sun. Okay, it's called precession. It's a, there are various kinds of precession. That's one of them. So, if you timed the time between our closest point to the sun and our closest point to the sun again, that's a kind of a year, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, that would be a year within our orbit. That's a different length year from the sidereal year, a different length year from our from our seasonal year. Wow. I, uh, now here's the thing. Yeah. How how much older am I, uh, based on all these years? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very small difference between them. Oh, okay. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not right. That, yeah. No, I, I'm just seeing if I can cheat the system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just consider that what we chose as a year is, in a sense, arbitrary. Not that the length of the year is arbitrary, but we had a choice of three. Right. And and we don't care about whether the stars in March stay the stars in March. We care that March always has spring. That's in, it. At least in the northern hemisphere. Right. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. That, that's a years in a nutshell. That was good stuff. I'm going to say I, you know, when you started off with, with you know, what is a year? I was kind of like, you lost it, bro. You finally <laughs> lost it. You, it. He's finally gone. <laughs> but you pulled it out. I got to tell you, you pulled it out. This was a uh, good one. This was that's kind one. of the whole point of <laughs> these explainers. That's true. That's true. This has been another Star Talk Explainer. As always, keep looking up. <laughs>